This is my Shrimp Bars ecosystem, which has now been set up for over four and a half years. For those of you who haven't seen the previous videos, this setup features an IKEA vase transformed into a self-sustaining ecosystem. What began with just a piece of wood, a few plants and some water, has evolved into a bustling habitat for shrimp, snails and various tiny organisms. Remarkably, this vase operates without a filter, requires no water changes and needs minimal feeding, just an occasional water top up when evaporation occurs. Despite its low maintenance nature, I haven't always kept up with it as diligently as I should. About six months ago, the ecosystem was on the brink of collapse. But after some much needed TLC, I managed to revive it. The full story of that close call is in the previous video, which I'll link in the description below. Now it's been over six months since the last update, and today we'll see how well I've maintained the vase and check in on how it's doing. I started by removing some scraggly plants from the front, which made quite a mess. To tidy up, I added more dragonstone pieces to create sections, giving the small foreground plant a place to hopefully fill in. I also added more sand just to finish it off. The shrimp quickly began exploring their refreshed environment. If you've seen my other video on the desktop ecosystem, you might recognise this guy, who I named Jason Bourne. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. He moved into the vase a while ago, along with a group of rejects from the desktop tank. The microorganisms were still thriving at a manageable level, not overtaking the vase. The legs on these water mites seem to be moving a lot, yet I swear this one guy hadn't budged from this spot for years. The plants began to grow nicely after the reset, especially the java moss, so it was time for a quick trip. After tidying up the trimmings, the vase looked good again. But Every few weeks, some stringy algae would grow along the bottom. I kept removing it, being careful not to disturb the Monte Carlo, which was already growing slowly. I'd then give the glass a little clean and top up the water, as usual, by slowly dripping in the fresh water. Now let's talk about the shrimp. They were all getting along fine and looking healthy. However, there was an issue. They were all males. So it was time to spice things up and introduce a brightly coloured female. I scooped one out of the desktop tank and after acclimating her, released her to join the reject crew. Now it was just a waiting game. I hope to see some shrimplets soon. Another month had passed and algae started covering the glass. So this seemed like the perfect time for a big clean and a partial water change. Even though it's not needed, it can sometimes trigger breeding in the shrimp. Sure enough, a couple of weeks later, I noticed the female shrimp carrying eggs. Surprisingly, five days later, I noticed one of the transparent shrimps had eggs too. They obviously weren't all male after all. So the question is, who's the daddy? Or are there multiple daddies? My bets are on Jason. I don't know who I am! Over the following weeks, I watched the eggs slowly change from yellow to transparent. And eventually, you could see the baby's eyes as little black specks inside the eggs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
But then, just as things seemed to be going so well, it took a turn for the worse. Jason started acting strange, struggling to shed his exoskeleton. Many of the shrimp had successfully molted after the water changed, and I spotted several molts in the vase. Kept an eye on him, but he remained the same for a couple of days. Sadly, this was the end of Jason Bourne. Rest in peace, Jason. The bad news didn't stop there. I noticed some wiggly parasite-like things on the mama shrimp's eggs. And a couple of days later, the eggs were gone. Had they hatched, or did the parasites consume them? I had no idea. For the next week, life in the vase continued as usual. Then I spotted it, the first baby shrimp in the vase in years. Over the next few days, I noticed at least two more. It's now been a few months since the babies were spotted and they've grown quite a bit. Some of the adult shrimp's colours seem to have changed slightly, with the bigger females appearing to have developed some sort of weird camouflage. The moss had grown wild again, but the other plants are starting to slow down. The Amazon sword, which has been in the vase since the beginning, shriveled to almost nothing. The stem plants have also slowed their growth to a near stop. This suggests to me that the nutrients in the substrate have completely depleted after nearly five years, even with the addition of root tabs. After another big trim, it's now time to wait and see how the plants recover and whether the vase can make it past its fifth birthday. The next video will be the five year update, where we'll find out if this vase continues to thrive. Well, you'll find out, I'll already know. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>